how can you settle there when outsiders aren't permitted to buy houses? Last week, uh, there was also a, a, you know, a decision by the government of New Zealand to prevent uh, uh, foreign buyers from buying properties in New Zealand. We have been having a lot of housing crisis in New Zealand. Part of it is also, uh, uh, you know, kind of we're having this crisis because part of it is also because uh, the migration has gone up quite significantly. And so there are more people coming in, but the house stock, housing stock is uh, kind of not growing at the same pace. So there has been a bit of a mismatch. So the, the government decided they're going to put a, a, you know, ban on foreign buyers buying uh, uh, houses in New Zealand. So Sebak's question is, how do I settle there if I can't buy a home? Number one, you can rent, <laughs> but jokes apart, uh, not only renting, but uh, the fact is if you are coming and going through the entire process of, you know, either direct migration, if you are qualifying, uh, or if you are, you know, in terms of qualifying, not directly, but uh, through the job search visa for skilled migrant category, or if you're coming as a student and working your way and getting to residency, when you become a resident, you are no longer, a, uh, you know, a, 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 you're no longer a, foreigner you can be able to buy a property in new zealand so the possibility is still there and for typically it takes between uh two to four years for you to uh reach that stage where you're actually ready to buy a house and in most instances you would have also attained your residency in new zealand so that's the way you can uh settle in new zealand